This question says the template below consists of a semicircle and a right angled triangle. Now they go on to tell us AB equals 8, BC equals 6, and angle ABC equals 90 degrees. So we have this figure. We know this figure is going to be made up by a semicircle and also a right angle triangle. And this is going to be our right angle triangle. Now the question goes on to say, calculate using pi equals 3.142 where necessary, part A, the length of the diameter AC. So they want us to find the length of this diameter AC, and we know this diameter is going to be for the semicircle. But even though they want the length of this diameter AC, we know this is also a length for the right angle triangle. Now we must be able to look at this right angle triangle and because they want us to find the length AC, we must be able to see that we have two sides and they want us to find the third side. I'm just going to draw this right angle triangle separately so you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. So if you was to draw this without the semicircle, it looks something similar to this. And we should notice that this is a right angle triangle and they want us to find this side. Therefore, because we have two sides, all we're going to do is use Pythagoras theorem. And we know Pythagoras theorem and once we use Pythagoras theorem, once we know two sides, we're able to find the length of the third side. So let's set this problem up. We have part A. And we know Pythagoras theorem is going to be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now c is going to be the hypotenuse. So let's see what side AC is. Now we know the side opposite the 90 degree angle is going to be the hypotenuse. Therefore, side AC is going to be the hypotenuse. We can use side 8 and 6 for A and B. So for A, we can use either 8 or 6. I'm just going to use 8. So we're going to have 8 squared plus for B, I'm just going to use 6. 6 squared equals C squared. And when we solve for this, we're just going to put this in our calculators. 8 squared plus 6 squared is going to give us 100 equals C squared. Now we have to get rid of this squared. Therefore, we're just going to square root both sides. So we know the square root and the square will cancel out. Therefore, C equals... Now, when we put the square root of 100 in our calculators, we're going to get the answer 10. Therefore, the length of the diameter AC is going to be 10. Now, we know a length always has a unit. But in this situation, they don't give us any unit. They just said AB equals 8 and BC equals 6. Therefore, we're just going to write it as 10 units. This is going to be our answer for this problem. So for part A, we're just going to write 10 units. Now let's do part B. It says the area of the triangle ABC. Now anytime we see this word area, we should start to smile because we know we're just going to use a formula. Now, what is the formula for the area of a triangle? Well, we know the formula for the area of a triangle is going to be area equals base multiplied by height over 2. Sometimes people write it as half base times height. It's the same thing. Now, let's solve for this. So the base in this triangle, ABC, is going to be 6 centimeters. 
So we have 6 multiplied by h, which is the height. This is not the hypotenuse, so do not get this confused. We're multiplying the base by the height. So the height in this situation is going to be 8 units. So we're just going to write 8 divided by 2. Now when we put this in our calculator, 6 times 8 is going to give us 48 divided by 2. 48 divided by 2 is going to give us 24. Therefore, the area of this triangle is going to equal 24 square units. So this is our answer for this problem. For part B, we know the area of triangle ABC is 24 square units. Now for part C, it says the area of the semicircle. So let's solve for this. We know the area of a circle is going to be pi r squared. So the area of a semicircle is then going to be pi r squared divided by 2. Now for pi, we're going to be using 3.142, 3.142 multiplied by the radius. Now if we look at our semicircle, let's see if we can find our radius. Now we don't have a radius labeled, but we know AC is going to be our diameter, and we know the diameter is 10 units. Therefore, to find our radius, we're just going to half the diameter. So we're going to say 10 divided by 2, and that's going to give us 5. So if we write it out, we can say radius equals diameter divided by 2. We know the diameter is going to be 10 divided by 2. Therefore, the radius equals 5. So we have 3.142 multiplied by 5 squared divided by 2. Now let's solve for this. We're just using our calculator. We have 3.142 multiplied by 5 squared. That's going to give us 78.55 divided by 2. Now when you divide this, you're going to come up with the answer 39.2 seven five and this is going to be our answer for the area of the semicircle now we're going to write the units and don't forget we must write square units so this is going to be our answer for this problem for part c we're just going to write 39.275 square units. Now for part D, it says the total area of the template. So we know this template consists of a semicircle and a right angle triangle. So in order to find the total area of this template, we're just going to add the area of the semicircle plus the area of the triangle. Let's solve for this. So for part D, Total area equals area of the semicircle plus the area of the triangle. Now, the area of the semicircle is what we just found in part C, and we know that's going to be 39.275 square units. So we're just going to write 39.275 plus the area of the triangle is going to be 24 square units. So we're just going to write plus 24. 
Now all we have to do is put this in our calculator and we have 39.275 plus 24 equals, that's going to give us 63.275 square units. So this is going to be our answer for the total area of this template. So for part D, we know the answer is going to be 63.275 square units. So this is how you solve a problem that consists of a semicircle and a right angle triangle.